So all we want to do here is just run through some formulas. Okay, this section is on something called related rates. I like to call them related derivatives because I think that's a little bit more descriptive. Okay, rates is a little cryptic. Yeah, we know a rate is a derivative in this class, but this makes it a little bit better. Um, formula for a rectangular prism. In other words, that's that's like a like a box. Okay, so the volume would be length times width times height. Okay, if it was tilted a little bit, the height we usually would call that the altitude. Okay, a right circular cylinder, fancy way of describing a can. Okay, the volume is it's always the area of the base times how tall it is. So the base would be a circle because it's a cylinder. So that's going to be pi r squared h. Okay, and I'll be impressed if anybody knows this. Volume of a cone. Yeah, it's, it's exactly one-third of the cylinder that it would fit in. So uh, pi r squared h divided by 3 or one-third pi r squared h. And then I've got this diagram right here, and it just says, I've got these two diagrams actually. It says, find a formula that relates the variables in the diagram. So we could stare at that for a while, and if it's been six years since we took trig, then we're really in trouble. Okay? If it's been fairly recent, we look at that and we say, hey, theta, that's an angle. I've got some sides of a triangle. Um, if this is the angle that I have, what name do we normally give this side over here? We'd give that the name opposite, and this one would be the adjacent. Okay, And what trig function relates those? So the tangent of that angle would be the opposite, which is y, over the adjacent, which is 500. So there's an equation that relates the variables in that particular diagram. And this one's a little bit too easy. Pythagorean theorem. Uh, square the two legs, add them together, and that should be the hypotenuse squared. Okay. And now some little bit more calculus-related questions. How do we express the derivative of y with respect to x? How do we normally write that? Okay. Um, we, I, I like most often to write it as dy dx, because then you can see literally what we're doing is we're finding the derivative of y with respect to x, or the difference in y over the difference in the x's. I mean, it reminds us that we're looking for a rate. We're looking for a slope. Okay. Derivative of A with respect to T. DA, capital A, DT. Change in A over change in T. Derivative of P with respect to T. DP, DT. Okay? All right. And this is what this section boils down to. If you have an equation that relates variables, like we have right here, all of these ideas up here, are all pre-calculus equations. They're all things that we're familiar with. Okay? If you've got an equation that relates the variables, then the derivatives of those variables must be related. That's the bottom line. If you can come up with an equation that relates the variables in a problem, using pre-calculus and algebra ideas and geometry and stuff like that, then in calculus, we should be able to take the derivative of that equation, derivatives of both sides, kind of like implicit differentiation, and it'll introduce rates of change, it'll introduce derivatives of x, derivatives of y, derivatives of a, whatever it happens to be, and those derivatives should be related. That's a pretty simple idea, right? I mean, implicit differentiation wasn't that bad, okay? but that's what we're after. Come up with an equation that relates the variables, and then we're going to find an equation that relates the derivatives. And then we're going to find some unknown quantities. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. You can chew on that for a while. Um, I think I copied this. I wanted to make these numbers a little bit smaller. We're going to make that 5 miles and that 10 miles. Okay, And we'll start with that problem on Monday. Just let that cook in your head. If you've got an equation that relates variables, the derivatives of those, those variables should also be related. That's the idea there.